everybody to Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video today we got a video on the top five theme teams inside the game right now this one is a little bit hard to make because obviously there are a lot of good theme teams I'm going off overall and also some of these could just have very high tier positions at important positions like wide receiver safety corners which you really really need in a game like this so I'm really aiming for not only 25, but I'm going to be looking at full teams because we're getting that late in the year where a lot of teams have a lot of depth at every position. But anyways, make sure to smash that like button. Turn on the noties. We do post a video almost every single day, at least six days a week, 100%. But anyways, let's get right into number five. To be using this list, if you guys do not know, there is a Discord link to my Discord inside of the description of this video. All you want to go to do is to mutt talk on here and then go to pin messages right here. And then I have this right here. This is one of the best websites I could possibly use inside of Madden right now. It's on Mutthead. But this link right here shows you every single theme team, their overall, their offense, uh, their offensive overall, and then their defensive overall. So as you guys can see right here, this is the list I will be picking everything off of basically and showing you the best of the best theme team you can get with these. At number five, we will be going with Washington right here. They have a 97 overall, a 96 offense, and their defense is a 98. That is really what carries them on here. So once you click the link, it'll take you to my head. It takes a second to load, and it'll show you their best cards at their best positions. So right here, you guys can see their offensive line, all 90 plus, except for their right tackle. I don't know who they could hope for there, but it's just offensive line. I mean, you could probably fill in a spot right there. But they got Vernon Davis, Chris Cooley, who could probably see an upgrade. You never know. They might give Legends upgrades as well this year. But Vernon Davis definitely is super solid on a theme team. Then their wide receivers, Keenan McArdle, you got Santana, Santana Moss, Terry McLaurin, and Deshaun Jackson. I mean, that's about as stacked as it gets at wide receiver. They're getting a little older. I think Terry's the only one that's probably still arguably in the top 10 of wide receiver. I don't know if he's still there anymore, but he's arguably still a top 10 receiver in this game. I think he still is, in my opinion. But a lot of these guys are falling off, but they're still very, very good. Their running backs, you got Sean Alexander, you got Barry on every theme team. Not bad at all, honestly. I... I mean, they, I don't know who they're hoping for, but Barry Sanders and Sean Alexander are still very good for right now in the game. And then at quarterback, everything team gets Dak. I think he's very solid, so that is a great thing. You never have to worry about quarterback now on your theme team, so Dak is amazing. But if you don't like Dak's release, they do have Alex Smith. Is, um, this is his honors card for comeback player of the year. Very, very good card. And they have literally no fullback for their theme team, I guess. I, I guess there's not even a silver or anything for them. But their defense is what carries them here. You have a Kendall Fuller just came out. Sean Taylor probably gets an upgrade as well. Landon Collins, Cameron Crawl. I heard this guy is a budget beast, probably even amazing on a theme team. Carl Banks, one of the best outside linebackers in the game. They don't have a really good right outside linebacker. I guess you could use Preston Smith. You're not going to use London Fletcher there. He has nothing. You wouldn't ever rush him. You, wouldn't, I, you, you just wouldn't use him there. You'd probably use London Fletcher here. But, yeah, I mean, I, I love Carl Banks. That is great in the theme team. Their corners are loaded. Sean Springs, William Jackson is just there from the free agency promo, and Deion Sanders. Then their defensive line is also loaded. You do got Montez Sweat if you can't get that Chase Young. You got J.J. Watt, Ryan Kerrigan. Um, we could maybe see an Albert Hainsworth upgrade. I don't think we will, but he's up there. There's uh, Jonathan Allen, and then, of course, Lori Glover, the one that everybody uses. And they also do get the best kicker in the game. At number four right here, we do have the Browns, and this is not just coming from a biased standpoint because I'm a Browns fan. They are a 97 overall with a 98 offense and a 97 defense. I mean, that is about as good as it gets right now. Everybody knows about their offensive line. The lowest one they have is actually their best offensive line of men of all time, Joe Thomas. But they do have 95-plus linemen at every single position. And also, they do have very, very good backups. You can see a 91 right here. Then that Michael Dean Perry did get an out-of-position right guard, I guess. I actually did not know that. And also Mitchell Schwartz, if you can't afford those guys. But they have one of the best tight ends in the game as well, especially on a theme team. Right here, Mark Bavaro, and also Ozzy Newsom. if you need a free tight end inside of your theme team. Their wide receivers aren't the best. They are very top-heavy. I think Braylon Edwards is amazing. I think he's the best receiver in this game. In my opinion, I think he's the best receiver in the game. Maybe 
I like I don't know. I I, I genuinely think he is. But right here, Keenan McCardle, he's all right. I mean, 93 base speed. On a 50-50 theme team, he could be very good on your team, but I just don't see him using him. And then Jarvis. These are, like, probably the two positions you do want to fill in. You could use a Jarvis on a 50, though. If you can get up to 50, you could use either of those two. Their running backs are also very solid. Nick Chubb with that LTD, Barry Sanders, and Raheem Mostert. Everybody knows how good Raheem Mostert is. He did play on the Browns before. Then you have a choice between quarterbacks. I, for my theme team, took Baker Mayfield. I think he's a better choice here. I don't know. I like his release a little bit more than Dak, but you could choose either of these guys for your theme team. And they also have Andy Janovich at fullback. Looking at their defense, it's getting better and better every single week. We did just get John Johnson now. This guy is amazing on a theme team. He is a 97 overall powered up. He also has the best archetype now that can get the um the deflator enforcer combination for a lot cheaper. So John Johnson is taking over my role. I think he's better than Derwin on a th like when he's on a theme team, he's better than the Derwin card. When he's on my theme team, I genuinely think he's better than the Eric Berry when he's fully theme teamed up. But then again, Eric Berry's just a better card in general. But Carl Banks right here is insane as well. We saw that earlier in the video. Demario Davis, you probably won't play him, but he's there for overall purposes and obviously theme team purposes. And then Sam Mills, Jordan Poyer did get this. That is the one position we are kind of lacking on is free safety and strong safety. We are hoping maybe they give uh, – they're probably not going to give Grant anything. We're just hoping for basically anything, honestly. But then we scroll down to corner. We do have Denzel Ward, Aeneas Williams you probably would not use, but Frank Minifield 100% is going to get an upgrade. Every single Team Diamond from Team Diamond 1 has got an upgrade besides like four of them. Dante Hall you just all got one. Frank Minifield, 100% will get one. So if you're looking at corner, this is probably their weakest position. You 100% will get an upgrade there. It just got to be a little patient there at corner. But at uh, the defensive line, they are loaded, 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 loaded. Defensive tackle, they just got a 99. They got a 99 end, obviously. And this is another one. You will be waiting for his upgrade, just like Minifield. But he, his upgrade's going to be insane. Everybody saw last man how good the late Miles Garrett card was. We're just waiting for that this year. And it's probably going to be a 97 plus when he does get that upgrade finally. I'm I'm just waiting for it. He's going to be insane on the theme team. They also do got a 92 kicker and an, an elite punter. I mean, who punts the ball, honestly? At number three here, we do have the Raiders. The Raiders is a very, very, very good team as well. Only a 97 overall, but they're still very solid. They got a 97 offense, 97 defense. You can see the offensive line, all 93-plus besides Gabe Jackson. I mean, line you could definitely replace there. Darren Waller, one of the best Titans in the game, also on a theme team, loaded. Then we look at running back. You got Bo Jackson at a 97. Insane on a theme team. You got Dak. You got Rich Gannon. I'm pretty sure you would be taking Dak over Rich Gannon there. Marcel Reese, arguably the best fullback in the game because of his speed. And then you got Randy Moss. You got Jerry Rice and Darius Hayward Bay. Some of the best wide receivers you can get in the game right now. I love Jerry Rice on a theme team. If he's not on a theme team, he's eh. But when he's on a theme team, he is insane. When he's full, like 100% when you're on like a at least plus one speed. But when you're out of a 50-50 Raiders or something, Jerry Rice will be insane for you. Love the wide receivers on the team. The offense is honestly loaded on that theme team. Their defense, they do have a lot of older good cards like Ronnie Lott and Taylor Mays you can see here both of them will get upgrades you everybody already knows that but D'Angelo Hall is a lot of people use that free safety in the same team I guess their corners are loaded you got Namdi, Charles Woodson and Rod Woodson DRC hopefully with an upgrade and also Eric Allen and then there are linebackers you got two pretty good pass rushers here you got Ted Hendricks and Khalil Mack with Pretty decent linebacker, middle linebacker for overall purposes. Corey Littleton and Sam Mills, everybody has him. And then their D-line is also solid. Yannick just signed with them, so he gets that Raiders chem. You get J.J. Watt, and then also Leroy Glover and Warren Sapp. It's, they're really waiting for a couple upgrades. Like, this is huge right here. So then you would have Taylor Mays here, and then you'd have your Ronnie Lott here. I mean, the Raiders always ends up coming up on top. I just don't think they're there yet. I mean, they're really good. Their skill positions here are really good. But when it comes to line, they're eh. Their tight end is kind of slowly falling out. There's definitely more better tight ends now in the game. And also, their corners are slowly falling out as well. You can see Charles Woodson is a little bit on the lower tier this late in the year. But on a theme team, he could definitely be very solid. Just an all-around great team. We know how high their ceiling is. They always have one of the best team teams in the game. 
You just know it's coming. Number two, we do have the Niners here. The same overall offense, defense, and total overall here. Their offensive line is solid. 97, 97, 93, 96, 98. Very, very solid. Vernon Davis as well with Kittle. Hoping he gets an upgrade here soon. Their wide receivers, pretty much the same. I'd say is definitely better because they do have that Isaac Bruce and you don't have to use that Jerry Rice. So you'd go Braylon, Randy Moss, Isaac Bruce. They're, they have some of the best receivers in the game. They got Kyle Huszczyk here, Dak Prescott. You got mo their running backs are a little worried. You don't get you don't get Bo Jackson, but you do get Moster here, which is a solid solid option. And Joe Montana, you could definitely see getting up right now, but he doesn't get Gunslinger and Howard Master at the same time. So you, there's no really chance you should be using Joe Montana over Dak here. But moving on from that, I'd honestly use Jimmy G over Joe Montana if you're going off of budget more. I'd really go Jimmy G over this Joe Montana because Jimmy G has a great release and also gets Gunslinger, which I love it on him. But looking at their defense, they are very, very low right here. Like I said, they're the same thing. They're really waiting for those upgrades over here with Ronnie Lott and Taylor Mays. They pretty much kind of share the same theme team, it feels like. But the reason I have them above is because they do have this Ricky Jackson right here and Charles Haley. These two are insane. So probably the best pass rushing duo in the game right now until you see later in this video. But Charles Haley and Ricky Jackson, insane. You got Fred Warner, team of the year, Pat, uh, paired up with Sam Mills. Pretty good. You got Patrick Willis probably getting an upgrade as well later in the year. Pretty similar corners, but instead they got Dion now. They got Richard Sherman, Namdi. Rod Woodson is still very good in the game. I'd say he's not like he's not top five anymore, but he's still pretty good. He's still pretty good. And then defensive line, you got DeForest Buckner as your bestie tackle, which is a bit tough. Where are they using in this? Where are they using their team captain? That's actually where I'm confused. Where are they using the team captain? Oh, they're using on Ed McCann. I don't know why you'd do that. You'd probably use Leroy Glover here. You'd have Justin Smith, Leroy Glover, and then DeForest Buckner and J.J. Watt. It would be insane. You could arguably use Nick Bosa here too, but I think Justin Smith is just too good not to use. Going down to kicker, they have a 92 punter and the 99 kicker. They are loaded, 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 loaded on the theme team. I actually have a two-way tie for first here, so technically it is the top six teams. But right here, we will be going over to the Chiefs. Like I said, they are tied for my number one. They are loaded in this game. We'll get to the other number one here in a second. But you got Eric Fisher. I, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. 95, 96, 99, and 96. And then you got, obviously, Tony G. You have an option between uh, Kelsey here as well. Your wide receivers are Dante Hall and Tyree Hill. Shorter receivers, but they both are very, very good in the game. Very fast as well. Your best running back right now is Le'Veon Bell, but on a 50 out of 50 theme team, he I heard he is amazing on there. Then you do get that Dak Prescott as well. That's probably the, your best option. I'd probably take him over Mahomes. Until he gets his next upgrade, Mahomes will be insane. Anthony Sherman, you get a 96 fullback as well. Their defense is loaded, loaded, loaded. Kendall Fuller at free safety. Yeah, Derek Thomas, arguably the best pass rusher in the game. I think he's one of the better ones in the game. Sam Mills, you got D Ford. He can play the outside linebacker for you. Very good. Bobby Bell definitely will get an upgrade as well. He always does. Eric Berry, the best safety in the game when you're not... I don't say he's the best user in the game, but he's definitely the best safety in the game. Love him. Love him in this game right now. Sammy Knight. So you get two 99s. That, is, that right there is insane. Then you also get Tyron Matthews. So if you run a lot of big nickel, you have a lot of safeties on your field. They are loaded. Like, I would love this theme team on my defense right here. Then their corners are also insane. Legereus Need, Darrell Revis, and also Dunta Robinson and Marcus Peters. I've seen Breland a lot in Chiefs same teams too. I mean, this is about as stacked as it gets right now for the Chiefs same team. Their D-line, also all 97 overall plus. You got your right end right here, Frank Clark, 97, Chris Jones, 99, Michael, is it Dean Perry? Yeah, Michael Dean Perry. And then J.J. Watt. I mean, it's just as good as it gets. Tommy Townsend and Morton Anderson, pretty solid. I wouldn't think Morton's the best. Maybe you get a different kicker there. He has, his kick power is a little low, but... All around a very solid team right there. And then, like I said, we do got a 2A tie for first. I do have the Ravens up here as well. I think the Ravens are loaded, 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 loaded right now. 99, 97, 96, 98, 99. That's the best offensive line in the game. I'm a Brown team team, and this is better. I mean, they just got Willie Anderson, 
Kevin Zeitler just signed with them, so he, they got another 98 overall here. Marshall Yanda could play that left guard for you instead of the right guard. And then Ryan Jensen used to play for them as well. You got Darren Waller, Ozzie Newsome, Ben Coates, if you need but more of a budget options here. And then Darren Waller is obviously very good. You get the best fullback in the game right there. Steve, Steve Smith Sr. You get Des Bryant, who just signed with them or played with them this past year. And then Andre Johnson. You could probably fill in this third role here. I mean, they don't really have a third receiver, but that's one you do want to fill in. They get Ricky Williams, Moser, and Barry. Lamar and Dak is a big question mark. It's like really... I don't know. That's a hard one. I'd probably use Dak because my play style, but I could see a lot of people using Lamar. I mean, it's a Ravens team team. Lamar is still definitely very usable in this game. Just my play style, I would take Dak. But also, they got Pat Ricard here too, a backup 97 fullback. Going to their defense, they got Ed Reed. That's another card we're looking for a big upgrade soon. He's going to be insane once he gets it. You got Eric Weddle. Maybe Earl Thomas gets an upgrade. I, I just can't see it. Maybe he gets one one day, but Chuck Clark, Chuck Clark is right here too. They're outside linebackers. Like I said, these are the guys competing with the 49ers for the best outside linebackers. You got a Dalius Thomas and Peter Bulware. Insane. It's just insane in this game. You got Sam Mills, Patrick Queen, Ray Lewis will definitely get an upgrade. I mean, that is about as good as it gets on defense right now. They got Rod Woodson, Marcus Peters, Dion. I wouldn't use Aeneas here. Uh, you got Marcus Peters, Dion, and Rod. I'd probably maybe fill in the third or fourth if you don't like any of these three. But those guys are definitely very solid in the theme team. Defensive line, solid as well. Calais Campbell, Michael Pierce, Pecos, okay. They got Yannick as well if you want to use him, and J.J. Watt. And then looking down here, they do get Shane Graham, which is a very solid option. Devin Hester for returning. I mean, this theme team is about as good as it gets right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button. And remember, turn on those noties. Turn on the noties. I love to see the noty gang. Make sure to comment down below if you are from the noty gang. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Hopefully, we get a surprise promo or something. We'll have to think of maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll come up with a video. We'll have it out there for you guys. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, boys.